That's a big rat, bro. Number two. They should catch the rat shake it vigorously, break its neck, and move on to the next one. Late Thursday night into early Friday morning, Richard Reynolds led a group of six rat hunters working six terriers of varying breeds into and around the trash cans, trash piles, and construction sites of the Lower East Side in search of this city's most reviled occupants. We do it for the dogs, but doing it for the dogs doesn't attract much attention. Killing rats attach, attracts a lot of attention. A dog show judge by day, Richard started hunting rats for sport 30 years ago after some dogs at a competition in the old terminal building at Liberty State Park instinctively tracked and killed some of the many rats living there. The park superintendent saw them work and said, hey, could you come back and do that for us? On this night, Richard's Riders Alley Trencher Fed Society, which forms the acronym RATS and has a waiting list for those wishing to join up, hunts familiar ground besides Baruch houses, whose occupants applaud the pack's work. Oh, I've seen you guys on YouTube. Rat hunters in the building. Rats run a set path every night. So to catch a rat requires finding that path and placing a dog in it. It's not rocket science. Mighty. <laughs> Paco, Marcus, Zoe, Rommel, and Coco. He caught it in the air. Beautiful. Work as a team to flush, block, herd, and catch their prey. Even though it's just, you know, it's a small quarry, it's rats, your adrenaline goes, man. You feel good when your dog nails them. Jimmy, a vet tech from Queens, owns, lives with, and handles Mighty, who, like the rest of these dogs, after a night of burrowing through trash bags and chomping on dirty vermin, requires a bath. I have kids, I have a wife, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep everybody clean and safe, man. He lays on the couches, he sleeps in the beds. All right, watch out, guys. This is gonna be all hell break loose here. After the lockdown, Richard said he hasn't seen more rats or fewer rats, but he has seen more large rats and in different places. Right now, we can't predict where we're gonna find it. Finding the rats on this summer night proved easy. We don't count how many we kill. What we count is how many get away. Catching them more difficult. Now that was terrible. But as the charge of this terrier brigade sent many rats scrambling to safety, leaving the dog's handlers dismayed, 16 rodents plunged into the jaws of death. The rats bite back, uh, but the, it's a nip. Coco received one such nip, requiring a little first aid. Richard keeps a full field hospital in his truck, but admits no dog's ever suffered a serious injury or gotten sick from a hunt. And he carries a stick with a carbide tip to keep it that way. These guys are like family. The sewers around here were um, what is basically called a rat reservoir. Manhattan offers a never-ending, always replenishing, if not expanding, supply of prey for these rat hunters who kill for sport and accept no payment for the good of the neighborhood, but mostly their dogs. Right off the bag, baby. On the Lower East Side, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News.